Availability bias is our tendency to either overestimate or underestimate likelihood of some event happening. Availability bias occurs when we use information that's most readily available to us to make a decision. Good example to illustrate availability bias are child abductions. Many parents choose not to send their children to school all by themselves or to let them play after school independently because they're afraid of child abductions. Even though, statistically speaking, the chance of your child being abducted are very low, people have got this unrealistic fear that their child is going to be a victim of it. So there are two reasons why that happens. First of all, not many of us are really interested in statistics. And the second reason is that it is really easy for us to recall the last time there was a big abduction because media was covering it for days or even months. Another good example is a rate of violence in our today's society. If you're to ask a random person to estimate how many people are dying today compared to how many people were dying 20, 30, 40 years as a result of violence, you would probably hear that there is significantly more of them today than it was historically. In reality, we're living in one of the most peaceful times ever. And the reason why these people would give you this answer is because the level of exposure they get to the negative news, to information about new wars, about murders, and about all the horrible things that are happening in our today's society. The reason for that is that the news have to be sensational, otherwise they don't sell. But as a result, they have a direct impact on our perception of the world. So you may think to yourself, why do I even bother? Why do I even need to know what availability bias is? And the reason why I think that all of us should become mindful of these biases is because it will help us to make better decisions and judgments about the world that we live in.